oh, we didn't bring torches, you've got to be serious, I'm such a smart person. Ah, no, 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 no. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Hi, I'm CB Tesla and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be doing some survival. So I'm trying to do this intro pretty quickly because we are going to be doing some desert caving and we need a lot of time to travel. So desert caving is just going to be like, as it says, uh, caves in the desert and we're just going to be looking through them. So uh, what are we going to take? So we'll just dump all of our stuff in here. And what we're going to need is our food, of course. Uh, pork chops. There's more pork chops that we need to cook. So we need to cook some more pork chops. Pork chops. Oh, we ran out of coal. Uh, charcoal, sorry. But we have heaps of coal. So, so it doesn't really matter. Yep. There we go. Uh, so we're just going to cook those pork chops. Then after that, we are going to cook some iron while we're away. Then after that, maybe raw mutton. We won't need that. Uh, ooh, some more wheat. We can make some more stuff with that. Cook pork chop. Okay, sure. Uh, so let's just make another uh, bread roll or bread stick thing. And we'll just put that back. Okay. I um, don't think there's much to do. Let's just go check if our wheat has grown. I hope it has. Because uh, after the, all that time out, it should have grown. Yeah, pretty good. Nah, none of it's really grown. So we might just pay a visit to the uh, the village while we are there. And uh, drop in and give them back some of their food. Because we will want to eat some of it. Uh, so we'll take... Yeah, okay, back. And we'll put those in. Uh, we'll need some caving materials. Which, of course, is like uh, all the junk blocks that we don't like using. Like these. Dirt we ran out of a little bit. Which is kind of worrying. Uh, we'll need this in case. I think that's it, really. Maybe we'll make another... Yeah, yeah. I think we'll make one more, one more uh, pick, just in case. You know, backup picks are really good. Uh, grab these, put this in, put this like this, and we have got a backup pick. Now, um, after this, we're going to put these back like this, and we got a backup pick. Okay, let's go. Uh, maybe we'll take the bed, just in case, in case we get stuck out there. Uh, but... Let's keep going. Okay. Ow. Ow. Oh, these breadsticks do do pretty well. Okay, I'm happy about that. Why are these breadsticks not together? I hear a... I... Did you guys just hear that? I, I heard a skeleton. Surely there was a skeleton. Hello, buddy. There we go. Thank you. Ooh. Bunny, 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 kill. Hitman 101. There we go. Thank you. Three bits of meat. Uh, let's go down here. Oh, we didn't bring torches. You've got to be serious. I'm such a smart person. Ah, no, 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 no. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. I do not want to mess with you, Mr. Skelly and Mr. Other Guy. Oh, you guys are still alive, yeah? Whoa, okay. Did you guys replant this? Oh, you're very good, very good. Sadly, there's no... Um, 
I would like some wheat, but, um, weaponsmith, 20 coal for one emerald, that's reasonable, butcher, butcher, okay, let's take some of these, and we're gonna replant them just for them, okay, whoa, almost killed the crops, not a good thing. 12 seed. Cool. Just put their seed back. No problem. Uh, iron ore. We got some iron ore. Okay. You know what? Maybe we could decorate our place. I We might just strip out their stuff. Eat, because I'm pretty sure villagers don't use these, right? Maybe we could just strip out the books. Because those are expensive. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. And, uh, there we go. So I think we might take the pressure plates as well. W what we could do is mount the pressure plates down, um, only going in. Only, like, going out. Because you don't want any zombies stepping onto them and, uh, coming in while you're sleeping. Not a good idea. You know, uh, oh, man, these guys are pretty rich. Oh, whoops. Spazzed out just then. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Is there anything else? Anything else I want? I wish this would regen. That would be pretty funny. Just, like, keep looting their village. Can't believe it. Is this a cave? Whoa. Mate. Stay away. Stay away. Well, he didn't stay away. No, thank you. That's really dangerous. But I think I just blocked it up. It's really dangerous because you don't want the whole village dying because of one zombie. So, yeah. It's not very good. Anyway, we've uh, only got about two more minutes of our uh, video left. Uh, anyway, let us just keep going. Hmm. Would have been smarter if I actually brought some torches. Uh, parkour for the win. Wait, that was weird. What? Oh, there we go. It's just a weird block thing. Whoa! Okay. It's night time now, apparently. Oh, quickly, quickly, quickly! Quickly! Okay, so we're gonna quickly go sleep in one of these village huts. And then we're going to actually go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick, guy. Guy, what are you doing? Thank you. Thank you, mate. Just let me sleep in here, please. Close it, mate. Close it. Go to sleep. Um, come on, yeah, yeah, okay, let's go, but because in the newest, latest version of Minecraft, they've actually made it that if you stay too, uh, too close, in the, like, too long in a village, uh, it actually causes a zombie siege, which is basically where zombies spawn everywhere and kill all the villagers, which is very bad, especially if you want to trade with them. Uh... The first time that I actually saw that happen was on Ethos Lab, which is a really good YouTuber. You should you should check him out, you know. Okay. By the way, leave a like if you um if you think that uh 
the 1.9 combat update will be an awesome update. I think it will be. It will be a good, uh, it will be a good addition to uh, all of the latest things that they brought out, like redstone and animals, new animals actually. 1.9 also looks amazing due to the new entities. There's like a guy that comes out of a purple block. It's pretty cool. Uh, now uh, we can put all of this back. Now, what I was saying about these pressure plates was that we only place them like this, so but we'll have to manually open them to get back in, like that, okay? Very good. One-way doors, you know. Okay, remove all of this stuff. We need this, and we need this, and we need this. This can go here, this can go here, this can go here. Now, iron. Yeah. 16 levels. Cool. Got lots of iron. Uh, and we are now going to go to bed. Just place that bed down. Oh no, actually we can't go to bed. Anyway, I'll just do my outro. So, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you didn't like this video, please dislike. If you really liked it, please subscribe. And remember, if you want to give me any feedback, please send it to cbtesla at gmail.com. CBTesla out. Hi, I'm CB Tesla, and welcome back to the last video of this series for Term 4. Now, this is the last video, and I hope you have enjoyed the first 10-part series of Survival. So do remember, if you do want to see it in Term 1 or Term 2, please remember to send me an email at cbtesla at gmail.com. Or, if you really do want to see it, but you don't want to send an email, just hit that like button. Now... Uh, I don't know what we were going to do. Actually, yeah, that's what I was going to do. We are going to go caving, and this time, I'll try and remember to bring the torches. Uh, unlike last time. <clears throat> Sometimes I'm forgetful like that, so just forgive me. Uh, now, we're going to grab uh, cooked pork chops, bread, uh, raw rabbit. Actually, I'll cook that now and we can bring the carrots. So once we cook this rabbit, it will be very good, and we will be right on our way. Ooh, whoops. Now, um, I've actually really enjoyed this series, so if you guys do actually want to see it, I'll be happy to record more for you guys. Uh, also, this could be a holiday series if you want, and if you really like it, it could, one episode could feature in my subscriber specials, which I'm pretty sure you would enjoy. But I could do like a special fight to the death with the dragon and survival and all that stuff if you really want it. Um, so we'll just grab all of our cooked rabbit. That gave us like two or three experience, which is nah, not too bad, but pretty bad still. Okay, let's go. Uh, run. I hope some of the crops are grown in the village area. Ugh. Because if there are, that means I can eat some of it. Okay. Come on. Sprinting and jumping. Fastest way to travel in Minecraft. Oh, hello guy. Stop jumping, thank you. Rabbits seem to be the most plentiful in this world. I'm not sure. How many do they give? Quite a lot, actually. Rab rabbits, I thought, since they are quite... Ooh, here we go. Here's where we want to go. Place these torches in my hotbar. Bam. Oh, it's like just a little area. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Bit of a waste of torches, so I will remove the torches when we leave. So I'm just going to grab all of this, your resources. Very good vein of uh, coal. Very good. I, I do like a bit of coal, you know. And I might defeat that uh, dungeon that's next to the villagers because I do not want them to die. Because I do need them for the latter uh, time. 
Okay, so that seems to be pretty good. So we might remove one of the torches. Oh, no, there's more. There's more. There's always more. Whoa, okay. What is down here? Hello. Why is it so far down? You know what? I think this might actually be a reasonable thing. I might just like... Yeah, yeah, I think I might just... I might just finish doing this cave first before I do anything else because this cave is massive whoa whoa guy whoa guy whoa guy okay I gotta respawn gotta respawn okay gotta regenerate please don't die please don't die don't need to die Oh, what's down here? Anything decent? No, okay. Just more coal. I'm always alright with coal. You know, it's not a bad resource. Always good when you have it. I always do like that coal is very plentiful because it is quite a big thing. You use it to fire all your furnaces, all that kind of stuff. I think that's all. Yep. Okay. This, this cave area is a bit, like, tiny. It's a bit cramped. Ha yeah, I could put it that way. It's a bit cramped. This area is a little bit cramped. Um, we'll just grab all this. Because it is very useful, as I said. Okay. Also, I do love getting XP. Oh. Wait, did I leave a piece there? No. Iron. Grab some of this. Reasonable amount of iron. Yep, reasonable. Reasonable. Not the best. Reasonable, though. Okay, some more um, coal. Like I like it. L do love a little bit of coal, you know. Very useful. Little bit of coal. Come on. Come on. I wish this would mine faster a little bit. You know, it is better than wood and stuff, so I better not be complaining, you know. Torch. And it broke. Luckily, I brought a spare one. Brand new, off the shelf. Now, I don't know. I forgot how to do this, but if you press shift, I think. Control, shift or something. Uh, uh, F3. I don't know. I forgot how to, like, see if you had how many uses left. Okay, cool. I thought this was the end, but, you know, can always be surprised. Now, uh, we've got about two minutes left of this uh, series, so just remember, if you do want to see more, drop a like down there, smash that like button, or if you really want to see the series, you know, just email me, message me, private message me on YouTube. Either one works perfectly fine. Now, I'm just going to finish this dungeon, so we might as well go quite over time, because this dungeon is basically what we need for uh, to keep this these guys alive. Uh, so we'll go down here. Can't place the torch. That was weird. Okay. We gotta light up all of this. Is that it? Okay. Uh, oh, come on. Yeah, as I thought, it was very small. Because I would have thought that, that this village would have been demolished if if the uh, dungeon actually was quite big. Um, okay, we'll just get all of these resources and we'll head back home. 
and uh, hopefully end our episode, our series thing. We could end it in one of the village houses if it gets dark though, so do remember that. But when you're underground, it's kind of hard to tell what time it is, so. Cool. Let's head down here. Nothing down there. One piece of coal left. Cool. I think we might head back up. Oh, more coal. You know, I think this was a pretty successful series of episodes, you know. Nice and successful. As I said, I knew it was going to be night time when we came back out. But let's just check out what our rewards are. We got about half and a, half and a, one and a half stacks of uh, coal. Seven iron ore. That seems pretty legit. Now let's head back inside to one of the houses. I think we might actually head back because I do not want to cause this village any heartache if uh, anything happens. So we might as well just fight through the night and head back. Whoa! What did I set Minecraft to? It's full of mobs, mate. This is bad. Ugh. Come on. Okay, once we get back, we'll do the outro and we'll uh, leave again. Oh, quick, quick, quick parkour skills. Parkour skills. Skills. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, bed, quickly. Morning, we're going to go into morning and then we're going to do our outro. So guys, if you enjoyed this series, please hit that like button. And if you didn't enjoy that series, of course, have your say and hit that dislike button. But if you really liked it, please subscribe. And of course, if you want to give me feedback or if you want to tell me that this series was awesome and, the, and that you want to see more, please email me at cbtesla at gmail.com. So, cbtesla out. Yeah.